Well, congratulations. That was pretty spectacular. How do you feel? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I feel great. Um, it's it's something special when you visualize something and uh, you dare to speak it into existence and go out there and uh, actually make it happen. And that doesn't come with, without hard work. And uh, I pride myself on putting on the work. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy right now. So did you visualize that exact finish or did you visualize a finish? What, what exactly did you do? I had a lot of different pictures uh, that was first and like that would that, that's the that was the a uh, I tried it a couple of times uh, but I just I wasn't perfect everything wasn't perfect and he actually blocked a couple of th uh, like and he, he was tough but the third one uh, it came like a shock he didn't he didn't expect it and um, that's when uh, when they hit the worst so that that was definitely my favorite one Were there any surprises in there uh, to be honest not that much like he, he he did some technical stuff some some adjustments from that i haven't seen before um that like i wouldn't say threw me off uh, but i had to adjust and the coaches told me uh, how to uh how to like uh, move and what to do when he was giving me the different kind of looks that we hadn't seen before so i just needed a couple of minutes to figure that out but other than that you could see in the second round uh, i started to get on the bike and um, uh, started to feel more comfortable in there i know you're going to go up in there against carlos leal yeah you think you're going to be able to razzle dazzle again what's razzle dazzle oh, just yeah, just to be right. <laughs> well it means to, to like put on a show be exciting so for me like i'm always going to try to put on a show the first and foremost, the first thing is I'm gonna get my hand raised. I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm winning the fight. That's the most important thing. But we're in the entertainment business also. So uh, if we can do something spectacular, something viral like I believe I did today, uh, that's not gonna hurt. And uh, uh, Carlos is a tough fighter. Uh, I fought him last season in the semifinals and uh, there was a lot of things that I left, uh, like so many opportunities that I had uh, that I didn't capitalize on. So I'm actually looking forward to running it back. The final one for me, were you glued to the TV watching the submarine stuff just like all of us? Watching the submarine stuff? You don't know anything about it? I just saw that the air is getting, getting like, uh, the, what do you call it? Like, losing air. they're losing the air in there. And I was like, man, I have a fight. I have to focus on that. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, coming into this year as the reigning defending undisputed champ, did you feel there was a lot of added pressure or because of the format you were just ready to start the new season? No, to be honest, uh, I didn't feel any added pressure. Uh, and to be honest, there's no one, nothing that's going to put more pressure uh, on me than myself. I hold myself to an amazing high standard. and. Uh, it's because I work so hard. Um, I haven't always been uh, doing everything that I need to do. Um, I believe in previous fights, years, whatever. Uh, I've I've done. I've always done enough, but uh, done a lot, but not enough. Now I pride myself on doing everything. So I'm, uh, every fight I come to, uh, I can feel that I can leave it all out there because I've done everything. So no added pressure. So for me, I just actually, if you if you if you heard, like I was talking to uh, to Pete Ray and uh, uh, after the fight, and I was so uh, and done. Uh, I was so uh, thankful because they actually gave me the pl platform to fight world class fighters and to be able to each after each season get like a receipt and be like this and this and this is what we need to mo work on to get better so me and my team we didn't take that lightly we took it like and to be and i believe that that is what we're seeing now a man that was determined to not let any failure or shortcomings so to speak uh <coughs> like hold me back so uh, I'm a dangerous fighter right now because I believe and I know that I have what it takes and uh, I'm, I want to be the best getting better. How do you plan to celebrate this and how long before you, you know, 
what are you going to do to kind of not train for a minute? Yeah, I'm flying back home to Vegas uh, tomorrow. And uh, I, I'm gonna try to eat some some good meals. Uh, enjoy enjoy that a little bit. The hard part with PFL is I'm going in in August 23rd, I believe, which is nine weeks if I count it right. So I can't allow myself to have too much fun in the in the food <laughs> in the food compartment or whatever. Uh, but I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be back in the gym already next week working on a couple of things. I know that the team uh, saw some things that I needed to needed to do, so I can always get better, and that's what I plan on doing. Congratulations again. Appreciate you, Ronald. Congrats on the win. Thank you. You always have this calm aura about you, especially leading up to fight week. Yeah. Uh, what do you say helps you stay calm and you're just relaxed throughout fight week going yeah. into uh, a big fight? To be honest, I believe it's uh, it's a combination of a lot of different things. But first and foremost, I'm blessed, and I'm blessed in the sense of I'm doing what I love, and I love what I do. So because of all the nerves and all the things around it, it's it's sometimes hard to actually look at what we're going and and like take it all in. And that's what I've been trying to get better at, like take it in, like this moment in 15 years, you guys don't want to, are not going to stand and talk to me, like, right? So, so the moment is now, the moment is here, so I'm trying to enjoy it. Um, and that's something that I always try, try to pride myself on. Now, what is the opportunity of almost becoming your back-to-back champ uh, mean to you? Uh, man, it's big. It's big. Like... For me, the next fight is the most important fight in my life. Uh, without that, we're not going to talk about back-to-back or anything like that. And uh, it's a challenge that, I've, that I'm so looking forward to because like, I know that since last season, both of us has, has grown. And uh, it's going to be so fun to go out and uh, showcase Sadibu. 2.0, if you want to say that, or whatever you want to use for word. So, so I'm looking forward to it. Lastly, yeah. uh, can you give us an early prediction? Uh, <laughs> so for this for this one, I told you I was going to give you a viral one. And uh, I told I told uh, people during the week that like the spinning head kick is my favorite one. So uh, I, I want to enjoy this one a little bit. I want to like smell it a little bit, like smell the roses with this one. And then when I come back for the next one, when it's time to focus on Carlos, um, I'll give you something. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congrats. Thank you. how's it going, man? So you said all week that you don't need a finish. However, your goal is to get a viral knockout. And I mean, look what you did. Yeah. So talk about that process of visualizing and manifesting it and turning it into a reality. Yeah. So for me, I believe that's one of the biggest reasons of my growth uh, I, I train everything for me has to be on point physically mentally emotionally and spiritually everything has to be on point if I'm afraid to speak about getting you guys a viral knockout how am I gonna go out and do it you see what I'm saying so it's, it has to start with me seeing it and me being able to watch myself do it you know that's the step number one Step number two is be able to speak about it. Don't be afraid to speak about it. For me, it wouldn't be a failure if it, were, if, if, if it didn't come. I'm still going to aspire to do great things. Uh, so um, it's, it's, been, it's been an amazing week, and it's been so good for me to be able to, to finalize the, 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 the fight week uh, this, this way, to be honest. So I'm... I'm scared to see what's what the future holds. So, Sadabu, you have an incredible history here in Atlanta. I mean, last year you went out there and beat the legend Rory McDonald. Yeah. This year you go out there and get one of the best knockouts in PFL history, yeah. and probably in, in your career as well. Yeah. I mean, do you just feel at home here? Do you demand that the PFL comes back here? Like, what's the deal with hey, in Atlanta, man? If you asked me after last season when we were in downtown Atlanta, I I wasn't I wasn't sold. But this time around, where we stayed in Buckhead, like it's been amazing. I like it. I'm a big fan, so I'm definitely coming back. And I, if it's with PFL or without, 
So, man, you've had a long career here, and it feels like now, like, you're starting to reach new heights. Yeah. Never, never before seen. You're like a fine wine. You get better with time. What's yeah. this process been like for you? No, amazing, amazing. So, I believe me and the team we trust each other so extremely well right now we're well oiled, oiled machine um, and we do whatever it takes so we we don't we we never get satisfied with with this i know that before we even leave this building my coaches will have things that we're gonna work on and they see like things that oh we should have done that we should this is like you know and that's something because for us where there's an opportunity to grow and get better, that's where we need to be. And that's what's that's what's what we've been doing to be able to grow. And lastly, man, they call you the Swedish Denzel. Yeah. What's your favorite Denzel Washington movie? Oof, I have so many. American Gangster is yes, is, 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 a, is a great one. My Thanks, man. Congrats. Appreciate you. How you doing? Congratulations on your incredible fight. Thank um, you. You had mentioned earlier that you had uh, always put in a lot of work, but never enough. At some point, you decided, like, it's enough, enough is enough. I have to start putting in what I need to do. What kind of sparked that change, and when did you realize, and how did you get to that point where you're, uh, where you're at now? To be honest, being in the gym and performing so good against everyone in the gym, but then having fights where I didn't perform to my abilities, so to speak. So I just needed to be completely honest and say, okay, if, I'm, if, I, if I try to do the same thing and exec, expect a different result, I'm the stupid one. So I need to try to do something else. So the team and I, we've been completely honest uh, and uh, the trust is just growing and growing. And uh, um, like I said, even after the finals, we just become, became the world champions last season before we even left the arena, we had things that we that we were like, oh, this is this and this is, is what we're gonna work on. Like, we know that the opportunity is right now. So, uh, I'm not tired. I love what I do. I do what I love, and I'm I'm looking forward to the next fight, and I'm looking forward to get better on Monday. Do you anticipate any major changes going into your next fight camp? Mm, major in terms of, uh, I believe. So each fight and each 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 fighter uh, comes with a different challenge. Um, so I know that a lot of things are, are gonna are gonna be the same in terms of the routine and where I'm gonna train and stuff. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get bodies that looks like Carlos and can imitate him and stuff like that. Um, so and uh, the game plan we had a game plan for him last season. We were victorious, but he he's a different fighter. I'm a different fighter. Uh, so uh, no, we 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 we're definitely gonna do some adjustments. And lastly, um, immediately after your fight, OAM came out and ended the fight in the third round with also a head kick. His was a knee kick. Yours was a spinning back kick. What do you? I just wanted to get your thoughts on that because two in a row is kind of crazy. Yeah, man. So I'm 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 happy for him. We we shared the dressing room and now we've been just. Uh, like dabbing each other during the week, uh, both uh, champions from last season. Um, I haven't trained with him, but I see him and I see that he, he puts in the work and he's serious to his craft. So I, I'm happy that, uh, that he, he got the, the victory. Thanks so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, first off, congratulations on your win. Thank you. Uh, Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'm I'm working with an amazing guy um, in Sweden called Najmedin, and the reason why I started to work with him was I had a fight in Sweden. This was maybe six years ago, seven years ago, and uh, before the fight, uh, he asked me two weeks before the fight uh, how I feel, and I had I have had an amazing camp, and uh, I said uh, I feel great, I feel great, so I'm just gonna go in there and do my best. And he asked me why. I, 
times. I didn't understand. What do you mean why? He asked me why. Why are you gonna do your best? Why are you not gonna do whatever it takes? And after that, I was like, oh wow. So I've been working with him ever since, and uh, uh, I'm gonna continue working with him, not only for MMA, for fighting, for life in general. So it was. I wanted. I definitely wanted the spinning head kick. I tried it two times before in the fight, so I definitely wanted that one uh, because that's my favorite kick, uh, and I've, I've 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 landed it, but not, never in MMA, uh, but in kickboxing in Muay Thai, I've done it as a as a fight ender. Um, so so definitely, I wanted that one. Okay, guys. One more question. Alright, no, I have a little bit of a fun question for you, so Go ahead. fans wanted me to ask you. So, I want you to think we're in a hypothetical alternate universe. Mm. You call yourself the Swedish Denzel Washington. Yeah. How many Denzel Washington clones can you take out once in a fight? I need to know. Twelve? Twelve? It's the magic number. <laughs> Alright, so congratulations. I appreciate that. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys.